It's a 13-man field. We hear that Jakob Halusa may not start. In fact, it's confirmed on our start list here. He is not starting. The Czech, who is the world indoor silver medalist, if it is a slow-paced race, he would have been a serious contender. And on the start line, this is Chris O'Hare. A Scot, 23-year-old, Celtic supporter, lives south of Edinburgh at the University of Tulsa for a while and now lives there. Charlie Grice, the other British athlete, just 20 years of age. Florian Orth of Germany. Henrik Ingebrigtsen, the reigning champion. Fifth in the Olympic Games in, in London and also European under-23 cross-country champion. What was a great year in 2012 for him. Broke through from virtually being unknown to being European champion. And this is the man better known, I suppose, at the moment, as the steeplechaser who removed the singlet, McKean Mahadeen Benabad. He removed the singlet and he didn't uh, get the opportunity to stand top of the, the rostrum, Benabad. That, incidentally, just in picture there, was the German, Komayo Tesfai, former Kenyan, David Bustos. On the outside is coached by Jose Maria Abbas Gal, of course, third in that famous 1984 Olympic final. The co ovet duel. 13 man field. It was 14 until Halusa was uh, pulled out. Normally it's a 12 man field. But they have just a slightly larger field than usual. Inga Britson and Orth side by side. Inge Britson is a fast finisher, but he's announced himself as a lot more than that this year with a 3.31 run for 1,500 metres in Monaco. Men's 1,500 metres final underway. And Kieran Linard and Paul Robinson for Ireland. Linard in the dark glasses. Robinson is slightly the taller of the two. Both tall athletes. Both mid-pack as David Bustos hits the front. Joined on the outside by Stanislav Maslov of the Ukraine. And nobody's taking this out. And they're tightly bunched. Oh, that was a, a very serious sideways move by Kieran Linard, who decided he wasn't going to bit, have his options curtailed by his position and move out into lane two so that he could track everything that happens Paul Robinson in a slightly worrying position especially for a tall runner right on the inside curve with two other athletes outside and a bunch of athletes in front of him and if he wants to make a move in what is a dawdle pace at the moment well he may wait for this to open up but hopefully it doesn't open up and he can't cover it both Irishmen would have outside hopes of a medal of course, a Linard, 10th in the World Championship final in Daegu in 2011. And Robinson has credentials too. He was a World Junior Championship finalist the same year. And it's David Bustos. And nobody will want to take the lead by the looks of it. This is thoroughly technical championship fair. And a Linard is right up there. But he's running a long way around in lane two. Belgian, Tariq Mukrime, tucked in behind David Bustos, Florian North in the glasses, two laps to go, and still just about, oh, 10, 12 metres separating number one from number 13, Olinard, Mukrime, Bustos, and Olinard is running a nice race, albeit slightly longer than some of the athletes on the inside curve, but he's certainly in position to do anything he wants in terms of making a move if he wants to. And he may, may well be someone to make a move. He's the European 3,000 meter indoor bronze medalist. So strength is part of his armory. And he's doing exactly that. Oh, he's been absolutely and utterly bald. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's gone to the back of the field. Oh, that's a shame. What an awful moment for Kieran. Just so 
so unwarranted. And it was Chris O'Hare. It was, I'm not sure who it was, but he threw, but it was devastating as McKeesey Benabad hits the front, looking for goal. The goal that he was denied. Another, another casualty. Marty North is down. Oh, it's an absolute mess. Oh, this is a terrible, terrible 1500 meter attrition. Kesey Benigbad steps clear of everything. Paul Robinson in position though. He's in seventh place. He's just an 800 meter kicker. Does he have a kick? He has 146, 800 meter speed, but he's not moving at the moment. As this is a runaway, a runaway by McKeesey Benigbad. An emphatic statement. I want this gold medal. That's what he's saying because they didn't allow me the one on the podium the other night for a technicality. And look at this run for gold. It is absolutely so strong. And now Paul Robinson comes into fourth place. He's using that 800 meter speed. And I think of Britson in second. But look at this celebration. No ripped off jersey from DC Benabad. But here comes Paul Robinson. Fourth place. Chris O'Hare coming past him. But Robinson still has hope. He'll be fourth. McKeesey Benabad takes gold. Robinson so brave. But denied by the Scot. Chris O'Hare has taken the bronze medal snatched it off from around Paul Robinson's neck. Oh, that was so close to a medal. Robinson will feel that it was there for him with 20 meters to go. In the end, the gap was significant, though. Inge Britson took second. The European champion from two years ago had no answer to the devastating turn of pace at the bell by McKeesey Benabad. And that's it, really. Oh, look at this moment. It was Chris O'Hare's move through. It wasn't necessarily O'Hare who was the one at fault, but it set a chain of events in, ta in train. And Olinard went to the tarmac, or the, the, the tartan, clutching his hamstring. And there was more. Maslov went. Florian Orth went. Oh, that was a mess. But that's 1,500 meter racing at championship level when it's a slow pace and in the end Ma Mahideen Nakisi Benabad in 345.60 a really really slow run race but the final lap the final lap may have been very 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 fast and I'd love to get the split on that we don't have a yet Oh, that was Florian North. He went down. Charlie Grice then went down. Oh, and then leaping at the back of the field. Maslov of Ukraine went down. And Akisi Benabad looked over his shoulder and said, it's time to go. And how he went. But look at Paul Robinson. You wouldn't pick him as a medalist at that point. He's not in position. He's certainly looking as though it's keeping clear of the damage. So at least hugging that inside curve worked out for him in that regard. That's luck though. But he made the most of his luck to get himself in position off the final bend and eventually pipped for a medal by one place as this man, Mahadeen Makisi Benabad, he'll feel that he's a double gold medalist at these championships. Of course, on a technicality for taking his singled it off and sticking it in his mouth over the last hurdle of the 3,000 meters steeplechase. He was denied that gold. But the European indoor champion Ben Abad is the European outdoor champion in a race that saw Carl Kieron Linard's fortunes just oh they dissipated in the space of two seconds. He is the most unfortunate athlete so many injuries and to come back and be fit and to take the lead and to suffer that fate is cruel but this is priceless what happened there who caught whose heel it really is hard to tell I wonder was Benabad's move part of it he won't mind he did nothing wrong and that final lap was just devastating the result it's a 13-man field. We hear that Jakob Halusa may not start. In fact, it's confirmed on our start list here. He is not starting. The Czech, who is the world indoor silver medalist, 
if it is a slow paced race he would have been a serious contender on the start line this is Chris O'Hare a Scot 23 year old Celtic supporter lives south of Edinburgh at the University of Tulsa for a while and now lives there Charlie Grice the other British athlete just 20 years of age Florian Orth of Germany Hen Henrik Ingebrigtsen the reigning champion fifth in the Olympic Games in, in London and also European under 23 cross country champion what was a great year in 2012 for him broke through from virtually being unknown to being European champion and this is the man better known I suppose at the moment as the steeplechaser who removed the singlet McKean Mahadeen Benabad he removed the singlet and he didn't uh, get the opportunity to stand top of the, the rostrum Benabad that incidentally just in picture there was the German Komayo Tesfai, former Kenyan that would be moved by Kieran Linnard, who decided he wasn't going to bit, have his options curtailed by his position and moved out into lane two so that he could track everything that happens. Paul Robinson in a slightly worrying position, especially for a tall runner. Right on the inside curve with two other athletes outside him and a bunch of athletes in front of him. And if he wants to make a move in what is a dawdle pace at the moment, well, he may wait for this to open up but hopefully it doesn't open up and he can't cover it. Both Irishmen would have outside hopes of a medal. Of course, Linnard, 10th in the World Championship Final in Daegu in 2011. And Robinson has credentials too. He was a World Junior Championship Finalist the same year. And it's David Bustos. And nobody will want to take the lead by the looks of it. This is thoroughly typical championship fair and O'Linard is right up there but he's running a long way around in lane two the Belgian Tariq Mukrime tucked in behind David Bustos Florian Orth in the glasses two laps to go he's six eight hundred An emphatic statement. I want this gold medal. That's what he's saying because they didn't allow me the one on the podium the other night for a technicality. And look at this run for gold. It is absolutely so strong. And now Paul Robinson comes into fourth place. He's using that 800 meter speed. And I think of Britson in second. But look at this celebration. No ripped off jersey from Kisi Benabad. But here comes Paul Robinson. Fourth place. Chris O'Hare. Kisi Benabad takes gold. Robinson so brave, but denied by the Scot. Chris O'Hare has taken the bronze medal, snatched it off from around Paul Robinson's neck. Oh, that was so close to a medal. Robinson will feel that it was there for him with 20 metres to go. In the end, the gap was significant, though. Inga Britson took second. The European champion from two years ago had no answer to the devastating turn of pace at the bell by Makisi Benabad. And that's it, really. Bustos on the outside is coached by Jose Maria Abascal, of course, third in that famous 1984 Olympic final. The co ovet duel. 13 man field. It was 14 until Halusa was uh, pulled out normally it's a 12 man field but they have just a slightly larger field than usual Inge Britson and Orth side by side Inge Britson is a fast finisher but he's announced himself as a lot more than that this year with a 331 run for 1500 meters in Monaco men's 1500 meters final underway and Kieran Linnard and Paul Robinson for Ireland. Bolinard in the dark glasses. Robinson. Just likely the taller of the two. Both tall athletes. Both mid-pack. As David Bustos hits the front. Joined 
on the outside by Stanislav Maslov of the Ukraine. And nobody's taking this out, and they're tightly bunched. Oh, that was a, a very serious sideways move. And still, just about, oh, 10, 12 meters separating number one from number 13. Olinard, McCreme, Bustos. And Olinard is running a nice race, albeit slightly longer than some of the athletes on the inside curve, but he's certainly in position to do anything he wants in terms of making a move if he wants to and he may, may, may well be someone to make a move he's the European 3000 meter indoor bronze medalist so strength is part of his armory and he's doing exactly that oh he's been absolutely an ugly ball oh my goodness oh he's gone to the back of the field oh that's a shame what an awful moment for Kieran Linard oh that was absolutely just so so unwarranted and it was Chris O'Hare it was I'm not sure who it was but it's true but it was devastating as Matisse Benabad hits the front looking for goal the goal that he was denied another, another casualty Florian Orson is down oh it's an absolute mess oh this is a terrible terrible 1500 meter attritional race as Matisse Benabad steps clear of everything Paul Robinson in position though he's in 7th place he's just an 800 meter kicker does he have a kick he has 140